I've acquired new evidence that leads me to believe it is the skill itself that is in some strange way a vast library of information to rival even Alexandria. I am now convinced that if I can obtain it, I will finally discover what happened to my beloved Amelia. Original Ginger here with part 5 of Tomb Raider Anniversary. Last time, we finished up the chapter in Peru and collected our first ski on. Oh, Pierre, you little bug. And today, we start the Greece chapter. This level is quite a bit longer than any of them that we've done so far. So, I'm going to record the whole thing in one session like I've been doing, but I will probably end up posting the videos in over the course of two days. So we've got a little battle right off the top in this stage. Natla doesn't honor her contracts, Pierre. I'd move on if I were you. No, mademoiselle. Natla and I understand each other. I find things for her. And she rewards me handsomely. But you see the very thing she does. That is why you are not trusted. I trust my instincts. And that is why you are so I am a professional, mademoiselle. I focus on the job, and I get paid. There's more to life than money, Pierre. This isn't life, mademoiselle. It's business. Your compulsion prevents you from seeing the difference. It hasn't prevented me from getting a piece of the skill. How's business for you? Touché. So then, why don't we see whose compulsion gets them the next piece? So there we officially met Pierre. Oh, that was an odd camera angle. So there we officially met Pierre, who we saw for a moment in the video in Natla's office last episode. Am I going the right way? I think I might be going the wrong way already. Oh well, this looks as good as anything. Um, okay, yeah, this will work. a few ways up, if I'm not mistaken. But it would appear that we're in a race or contest of some sort with, uh, of a sort with Pierre in order to get the second piece of the ski on. And here's where we learn how to do our wall run, which... Yeah. So that's the wall run. It's pretty easy to do until you have to actually push off horizontally from the wall. And I don't know, at least that gives me trouble. The Greeks had an affinity for heavenly bodies. We find a picture of Perseus with the head of Medusa on the wall here. And if we press this switch, it'll turn off the lights. And over here is a door with the same picture. And as you can see, if you look carefully, there's a jewel. Medusa's eye and on Perseus's sword. Perseus's, that sounds very odd. Perseus's. But what we want to do basically is shoot, shoot the lights. I can get it to come on target it there we go target those two lights and it will open up the door for us and I figured it might be fun to give a little bit of background information on some of the the Greek mythology that uh, certain things in this level pertain to so Perseus Perseus had uh, sandals with wings on them that allowed him to fly. And he is a, a mythical hero 
of early Greek culture who defeated the Gorgon Medusa and took her head. Um, he also turned Atlas into the Atlas Mountains using said Medusa head, which Medusa could turn turn anyone to stone simply through through looking at them. So I want to hit the switch again. It looks like it was... Come on. But the targeting can be a little bit wonky here. Both feet. His lower back. And the sword that holds his... Or the hand that holds his sword. Come on, target one of the other two. I'm pressing all four directions. There we go. I don't get caught back on those again. Maybe if I back up some. You know what? Screw it. Let's do it this way. Come on. There we go. And Perseus also killed a sea monster sent by Poseidon to kill, I believe it was to kill Andromeda, who was uh, Cassiopeia's daughter. And yeah, Perseus slayed it too. So he was basically a a hero of sorts in in Greek mythology. And we will run into things pertaining to both Atlas and Poseidon as we go further along in this stage. So I will get more into detail with them when the time comes. Looks like we are really high here. And uh, yeah, because Perseus killed the, the sea dragon and saved Andromeda, he ended up marrying Andromeda. And honestly, I don't remember right off the top of my head exactly what Andromeda's story was, other than the daughter of Cassiopeia. And if anybody wants to fill in in the comments or let me know if I'm just totally wrong, and I know there's usually several versions of a lot of these stories. Okay, now we want to try to get up there. Then yeah, feel free to correct me or fill in any details that I missed because I'm just going by memory as far as the Greek mythology goes. It's something that I kind of have been interested in before, but you know, don't know a whole whole heck of a lot about to tell you the truth. But I'll try to touch on what I do know when it's relevant. hope I can make this jump. Yeah, easy, easy. Alright, come on, bitch. Yeah, I'm feeling much more confident with this uh, adrenaline dodge thing. Did I kill them both? God, I feel like there's another one floating around here. Oh well, if he comes out then... Well, it must not be because I got the 
the checkpoint. Anyone who's familiar with the old Tomb Raider game, the original, will pretty much recognize this next room right off. Well, after a rather long spiraling hallway. Which I believe this is basically a, a save room without there, or not a save, a loading room without there actually having to be a loading room. Probably. Although I don't know. But here we have a very, very tall room. There's a lot of danger of falling and dying here. And what we're trying to do here is open up four, four doorways to four rooms that will allow us to pick up a... Whoa! Don't fall, come on. That allow us to pick up a key in each. And we're gonna need all four keys in order to to finish this stage. So, yeah, like I said, it's a rather long level. So we need to find four switches, do four rooms, Find four keys and use them on the locks all the way at the bottom of this room. So that opens up the Poseidon room. And in the original Tomb Raider, they didn't actually use all Greek gods for this room. And actually, the Poseidon room was called Neptune then. It was actually a, a Roman god. Basically the same. Basically the same. They're an agalist to each other. But Neptune was the Roman version. So they fixed... Fixed that. For... For this one. And I will get into... Poseidon's story when we get to Poseidon's room. Whoa, 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 that's not right. Okay. Oh, man, that felt... I thought I was going to die there. Okay, well, we we're supposed to have come to this room. Later, but... Yeah, I don't know if I can reach all the way from here. It may or may not have done what it was supposed to do. Well, crap. What do I do now? Um, wonder if I could reach that. All right, I'm just kind of winging it here. Oh, death. Nice. 